You're watching Hurley Films. I hope you guys have all been well. Uh, it has been a few days, a couple weeks actually, since we last posted anything. And so I wanted to kind of give you guys an update. First, uh, youth group's going great. Uh, lots of kids are showing up. It's pretty cool. And uh, we also got to go hang out at the lake for a little bit. And so I got some cool shots while we were there, and I thought I'd share them with you, especially this one. Not only that, but we kind of found ourselves in some what sand bass. Got? What do you got on your line right now? Um, sand bass. Reeling in the sandy. What is that? Water. I don't know, but you better reel. <laughs> got a lot of line out. Pop Pop was trolling us. <laughs> fight, man, fight. Okay, just Whoa. keep your tip up. Keep the tip up. <laughs> Keep the tip up, tip up. There you go, good. Sand basher, tough fighters. There you go. Keep the tip up. That's a giant. Bring it over this way. Bring it over. Bring it over. I'll grab your line for you. Okay. Ready? Come here. Ready? Got it. Oh yeah! Got him. All right. Pull him off the hook. Josie, look, Addy. What do you think of that? Josie, Addy, look, fish. <laughs> Can you touch it? <laughs> Alright, Hurley, get them off. Alright. Sandy. Can I throw them in? Good job, Hurley. You're turning back. Got him? Come here, buddy. Nice knowing you. Woo! Fish flip. Oh. Belly flop. Fish flop. Good job. I'm glad I got Addy's first fish in person. So the lake is always fun. Uh, Hurley got to do some kneeboarding. We did some tubing, and then me and my mom and my sister all decided to ride the tube together, and you saw how that panned out. Um, we also had competition to see if we could stand up on the kneeboard. Uh, also didn't go great. But the lake was fun. Summer's kind of coming to an end, and here we are back at the house with some fresh dirt ready to begin getting worked. And this video, I guess the intent of this video is to try to catch you guys up because a lot has happened in the past two weeks, starting with, well, we got we got going on the foundation. So we had a, a concrete company that uh, Brant, our, our GC and good friend, he has uh, does a lot of work for them and they came out to start working on the concrete, getting it going. So. I thought this was a super cool trick, how he scoops backwards with the bucket to keep uh, the edges pretty sharp. Uh, I hadn't seen that before, and that's something that I'm totally stealing and putting in my toolbox for later on down the road. Well, the footings are in, and the plumber showed up today and put in the sleeves um, here. Um, like I said, last, this time I'm using a general contractor who's a good friend of mine, his name's Brant. He does a lot of commercial stuff, uh, but he's got experience in the residential. And so he's the one who's contracting it, but then I'm kind of like here all the time, so it's easy. But the footings are in, the guys that dug the footings did a great job. Um, and now we just need concrete. Hopefully that's going to happen tomorrow. Um, the guys who showed up with the concrete, they did not show up with anything to dig the piers. So this whole side, I'll step over here. So this whole side here, 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 and then back to about here in the middle, this side will get piers on the entire footing. So every 10 feet will get a pier. And that'll help hold all that fill dirt. All of this fill dirt. After they had the footings in, we had to wait a couple days. Uh, they had some other pours scheduled. But they came back and got the steel put in as well as the piers uh, dug. And so here's some cool examples of how these piers look. And these are about six feet deep on this point, And they are deeper on the uh, farthest west side. But we had about 10 piers in total put in. And those are going to help so much with the structural stability, especially down there on the west side with all that fill dirt. If you've got pretty loose soil or really clay soil in general, um, piers are something that would be really good to look into because uh, 
their help. Here's a good little uh, downward end look. So you can see this is like one of the six foot piers. Okay, everybody. Um, as you've seen in the videos, previous uh, footage, we have got rebar in the ground. This is awesome. Um, the to corners are all completely tied in. Like you can see, they've got the uh, all the actual corner pieces tied. All the steel is tied. We've got our sleeves in place. This is where the water in uh, is coming into the house. So you can see the concrete behind me. The old well house is right in here, so the corner. And that's where the water was coming, and it ran across the, the uh, concrete here. Well, I don't want to cut through my concrete. So the alternative is that we're going to have to go out and around the concrete, and then down into that hole. Come to find out there's only a three quarter inch line coming in there. And since we have a two story house, they really want to make sure that we have a one inch line coming in the house. So it is what it is, but the steel looks really good. It's all tied in. We have piers on this side of the house, this west side of the house where the most of the fill dirt is. So there's uh, 10 piers, uh, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, 10 piers. So they all go down, steel is in each one of those. That's just an update. Um, I'll record some more when the concrete trucks are actually here dumping the concrete in the ground. So we'll have our footings. Things are happening. It's all looking good and I am excited to keep going. So in the future, uh, hopefully there'll be some plumbing that's getting done. Cross our fingers next week. A few days later, uh, concrete. So this was an exciting day. Um, like I said earlier in the video, a lot of this has just been kind of hurrying up and waiting. And now it's starting to really take off. And uh, this stuff's been happening, like I said, over the course of a couple weeks now. And hopefully I can be a little bit more better about getting this stuff out to you guys sooner so you can kind of keep updated. But I always love watching concrete get poured, and the guys that do all the work, they gotta just be annoyed with the guy that's just standing around watching them the whole time. But the way I look at it is uh, I'm paying for the concrete, and I can watch them pour it if I want. <laughs> so, and they're all super nice guys. I got to hang out with them a little bit while they were there. They're fun to talk to and hear their stories. Uh, and they're just, it's just good. I like watching things getting done, especially when I'm in the office next door and not experiencing instant gratific gratification. In fact, I may be frustrated and I find myself escaping outside to see things actually being accomplished. So it's a nice thing to have, but I'll let you have a few minutes here just watching the concrete get poured. yourself in this next shot that sure looks a lot like Austin but he's way skinnier Austin's lost a lot of weight so yeah we've all lost our, our whole family's been on kind of diet mode so I it'd be interesting to see what our collective weight loss total is well look at that look at that would you look at that concrete in the ground friends ha <sighs> feels nice to have some more things done um, Anyway, I, I mean, I don't know how much more to show you. Uh, you saw concrete getting poured and you saw it's already, it's already set up. Uh, so I mean, it's amazing how fast this stuff dries. Uh, we had some fun issues with the concrete trucks because they told, I told them on a 15 minute spread, which means I want them every 15 minutes, there's another truck showing up and that did not happen. <laughs> It was basically every 40 minutes a truck was showing up. So I was super worried, and so was the uh, guy that was doing the concrete. Both of us were worried that uh, we were going to have a lot of cold joints, which is when concrete... Anyway, it's not good. That's Let's just say that. But um, none of that happened, so we're all good there. We've got uh, these stems coming out. I think that's what they're called. I'm not exactly sure, um, but those will tie into the foundation or uh, the slab when it gets poured. Um, 
tomorrow uh we get a day off and it's gonna be nice um then on monday plumbing starts so it feels like for so long it was a hurry up and wait hurry up and wait hurry up and wait and here we are uh where now it's going to kind of begin taking off so exciting um we're still working on windows that's the fun of all of this and uh, uh when hopefully this area over here has a bunch of pipes running in it so we'll see what happens but till then we'll see you when i see you you guessed it next we started plumbing i didn't actually get really any good video of the plumbing because i was actually on some shoots the whole time that they were doing the plumbing uh but I did get some cool drone footage with a, a new drone that I got. It's a DG, DJI Mini Pro 3, and it is tiny, and I cannot believe the footage it gets. And it can shoot in this cool vertical orientation, which I was just playing with, but you kind of get a little cool top-down look at the plumbing. But once the plumbing was done, uh, the guys, Valentin and his guys came back, and they got ready to get going on getting the rebar tied and the sand put in, everything leveled out, to where we could get the four inch slab poured. We kind of had the same issue with the concrete trucks again, which was super frustrating, but it ended up working out. Um, they got everything level and the concrete is very well done, very well done this time. So I spent about three or four days with the sprinkler basically constantly running on it, trying to keep it as wet as possible. And the first thing that happened is Casey and the kids immediately wanted to come over and check things out. So, of course, if you mix wet concrete and a baby, uh, you're going to get mixed results, uh, especially when they go running through it. But check out the sunset tonight. It was just gorgeous. And then Addie got to go play. You guys haven't seen a whole lot of Addie at this point. Uh, she's fairly new to the channel, and oh boy, hey, how's it going? There's our curly-headed child, <laughs> and uh, yeah, she's uh, she is all there. She is a uh, fun little kid, and then Curly shoving his sister down the hill. I guess they're playing King of the Hill. It's all fair and love and love and war, right? But Addie, uh, Addie is a good girl. She definitely wants what she wants when she wants it and here is a teeny being a good grandma and trying to save her granddaughter from all the spikes of death that are around uh, but just such a beautiful evening with the sunset and everything going on uh, just a really cool start to all of it oh to be a child again the old carefree life just running around in puddles and enjoying it all for the moment that it is. Oh. That new concrete reflection. Oh, whoo. It has been about almost a week now that this has sat. And like I said, I ran the sprinkler on this for about four and a half days so it it got a really good soak and I can see the evidence of it I mean we have absolutely no cracking on the top no spider webbing none of that which is a good sign that it is a good pour the relief cuts look really good all of it looks nice even uh, the spots where the electric is coming in uh, where that stuff is it looks like it's even pretty leveled out and it looks really nice the plumbing stuff all has got uh, the uh, insulation around it to give it some wiggle room. So all on the whole, all of it looks really, really good. Um, as you can see, Casey's been over here with some chalk drawing uh, on her pantry. So I am committing to you guys on the next video. So hopefully in a week to 10 days or so, we'll see what happens. Uh, I am going to sit down with Casey and we will show you the house plans. This is kind of a cool teaser. You can let your imagination run wild as to what it looks like, but you can see, I mean, it's 
it's a big house. Our first house was 3,600 square feet. This house is about 4,000 square feet. Uh, we added a, basically added a bonus room upstairs uh, for us to be able to have like a play area. So, um, and it's gonna be awesome. Like I'm excited to be playing ping pong and, and watching movies and doing all that kind of stuff. But as you can see, the slab is down. We are getting closer and closer. And I got something cool that I literally changed this last minute. So I'm super excited to get to going in. And I was honestly inspired to do this by Kelly's Country Life, which is one of my favorite YouTube channels. I love watching it, but he built an outdoor kitchen. And I got super jelly. <laughs> I got super jealous. I was like, I want that. So this is the back patio and you can see that there is a set of plumbing and a set of electric that's run over there. So I'm super excited to do that. I've already been looking on Marketplace for uh, my thing that I want more than anything is I want one of those walks that you see in the Chinese food restaurant that's got like the foot pedal so you can control the jet of fire that comes out the bottom. Uh, so like I want to like have a full on Chinese food extravaganza out here because for those of you that don't know me, Chinese food is pretty much my favorite food. Uh, it's it's what is it's my my comfort zone. So <coughs> I think this is enough for this video. Of course, there would be no wind, and as soon as I walk outside to start filming, the wind would pick up. But here's where where we are at. Uh, I'm going to try to kind of keep you guys more updated on a regular basis. Uh, work is just really busy. School activities, you all understand. Uh, thank you for being patient. We love getting to share this stuff with you. And uh, my challenge to you today for the little daily thought is, like I just said here a second ago, Addie's running around on the slab and she's got that carefree moment. She just cares about one thing right then, which is having fun, playing in the sprinklers. I wish we could all adopt that same kind of outlook on life. Living in the moment, living in, living in really honestly, it's just trusting God with all the circumstances that are going on. And just realizing that there's nothing to be worried about. There's no need to be worried because he's got control over it. The good, the bad, the ugly, everything in between. So I hope if you needed to hear that today, that means something to you. And uh, yeah, I, I guess I'm going to wrap it up and stop rambling. And I'll let you guys go and we'll see you on the next video. Uh, Jesus loves you. We love you too. See you there.